diabetes has become a global epidemic, the incidence of which has been escalating at alarming rates all around the world. The irrespective of the age, the sex, the occupation, culture and ethnicity, the incidence of hypertension is found to be increasing day by day. The number of deaths from cardiovascular diseases has been predicted to touch more than 20 million by the year 2015. In the Middle East, however, 45% of the deaths are due to cardiovascular diseases. Hypertension accounts for almost 22% of these and it has been found to be increasing more among the women in the Middle East. In a survey, it was noted that only 18% of the non-diabetic population had high blood pressure and 12% of the diabetic population achieved target goals, which is quite shocking, irrespective of the different medications that are available in the market. And more than 80% of the individuals had inadequate control over their blood pressure. Having spoken of the importance of blood pressure, I shall just glance at the normal readings of the blood pressure that is targeted, which has been laid down by the different organizations all around the world. The document blood pressure is 120 over 80 millimeters of mercury. 120 denotes the systolic reading and 80 denotes the diastolic reading. The normal blood pressure is 130 over 85 millimeters of mercury. A person is said to be hypertensive when his blood pressure increases more than 140 over 90 millimeters of mercury. Blood pressure is usually monitored in the clinic, in the consultation chambers, by a healthcare provider. You have to be sure that you have taken adequate rest for at least five minutes prior to the checking of the blood pressure. You have not had caffeine and you have not taken a smoke. However, age, ethnicity, the presence of comorbid conditions such as diabetes or dyslipidemia or a heart problem, the time of the day at which you check your blood pressure, the associated emotions, the fullness of the bladder, dehydration and the presence of fever can all affect your blood pressure readings to by as much as 20 millimeters of mercury. Blood pressure is normally recorded in your non-dominant arm, which is usually the left in most of the people, with the arm outstretched and in a sitting position by the patient at the level of the heart. If the initial blood pressure is found to be more than 140 over 90 millimeters of mercury, one does not straight away label a person as hypertensive. Instead, they will be asked to record their blood pressure subsequently every day for a period of a week before coming to a conclusion. However, there are, medicine, there are machines which can record this blood pressure for you while you are on the move. It's called the ambulatory blood pressure monitoring device which will be connected to your body. However, the inflation and deflation of the cuff can be a bit bothersome for most of the people. Two measurements hourly are taken during your usual waking hours. An average of 14 readings is taken. The data is then recorded and downloaded onto a separate software which is analyzed by the healthcare provider before starting the medication. The home blood pressure monitoring also is another device which can be take, measured and uh, the readings can be similarly downloaded. However, in a home blood pressure monitoring device, the measurement is taken a minute apart, usually within the morning hours and during the evening hours. This should ideally be connected to your body for a period of a week. The above two methods will help to negate the anxiety-induced rise in blood pressure, which is quite common in most of the people, and it is known by the name white coat hypertension. Once you have been diagnosed with hypertension, the healthcare provider will check your waist circumference and the body mass index. He or she will then be taking your blood for the estimation of sugar, the cholesterol levels and the creatinine levels. There are non-invasive tests such as the echocardiogram, the carotid artery in media 
in the my thickness pulse wave velocity the ankle breaking index to which will help to assess the state of the heart as well as the blood vessels the estimated gfr will be calculated depending upon your creatinine levels and that will assess how the kidneys are faring in the presence of hypertension these tests that have been mentioned above are inexpensive and quite freely available however the coronary calcium content scoring is an expensive tool which will determine how the coronary vessels are prone to get blocked a coronary vessel is a blood vessel which supplies blood to the heart who are at risk for developing hypertension men above the age of 55 years and women above the age of 65 years those who are smokers those who are obese those who have got a history of either diabetes or dyslipidemia and those who have a positive family history of previous cardiovascular events once you have been diagnosed with hypertension the management will include lifestyle modification and or medicines the lifestyle changes will include weight reduction reduction of your daily salt intake to less than 2.6 grams per day reduction in your alcohol consumption cessation of smoking and trying to develop an exercise program which would last you 30 minute sessions at least five times a week your diet should include adequate quantities of fruits and vegetables and a reduction in the saturated fat content and cholesterol will also help medications have been tailored which have to be individualized depending upon the financial capability of the patient to purchase these medicines and also the level of education of the patient most of the time you the patients will be seen to be reluctant to take these medicines because it is a lifetime affair often more than one medicine is needed to keep the blood pressure under control the four main groups of medicines that are available for the blood pressure control are the angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors which is commonly branded by the content called lisinopril or pyridopril to name two angiotensin receptor blockers called losartan valsartan candisartan and temisartan calcium channel blockers such as diltiazem or verapamil or mifidipine and beta blockers such as bisoprolol or carbidolol to name a few however diuretics also have played a major role in the management of hypertension diuretics will include indepamide spironolactone and thiazide diuretics some of these medicines come in the form of combinations which will ensure that the patient takes these medicines instead of taking a handful of medicines to conclude measurement of blood pressure is important in today's world and style of living especially among the young people with the changing lifestyle habits and increased stress levels it is better to start remedial measures earlier than to have hypertension and then treat it i hope this has been informative and useful thank you